I'm here with Sean Newman and Andy McNulty, uh, both uh, basically behind the game today for uh, the Bluebell United uh, Academy. So what, what's the deal behind it? What, why are the South Legends over right here? Uh, to play a game, charity game for you guys. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I suppose so a very big thanks to the legends for coming over. It's a, it's a massive cause for us. It's uh, basically we've uh, acquired the, the backfield there um, on the, the behind the far goal, and it's it's basically been um, built for a uh, Blue Belt Academy. Hopefully, school boys are coming on. A uh, bit of breaking news: school boys are coming on in 2019 uh, for the club. It's been a number of years now since we've had. Um, schoolboys so you know it's we're going back in the right direction and hopefully it's just to build the club a little bit further than it is at the moment you know we have a great senior setup but we need to go back and, and sort of invest in the kids in the area so that's that's basically what we're looking for. Yeah as I say it's uh, it's starting at grassroots level it's uh, this this club had a change of direction last uh, probably about 14 months ago and we've got great plans for the future. Uh, and because we have scored such great things, we brought a great team over. We had a great day here today. Uh, we're investing in a nice bat, which it was in today because I need it. But it's uh, no, a great day, and again, it's, we're just hoping to buy people back next year and the year after, and they, and they can see the progress in the club. You know, so it's uh, no, yeah, again, we just hope everybody enjoys today. Yeah, and things like this uh, doesn't uh, always help you know, publicise the fact that you're watching what you're trying to do. And obviously, big names coming over, the likes of Pierre Van Hoedan, John Hartson. Um, Lee Martin and so yeah. on. Absolutely. Look again. It's just it's just making one step at a time. And um, we've put a lot of investment, a lot of time, a lot of money into the club, and it's just about giving back to the to the members and to the people in the community as well. So like that's what we're trying, one step at a time. This is just another another step in the right direction for Blue Valley United. So we're looking, we're are, we're already looking at our next venture. Um, there was a lot of effort and time put into this one, but we're already looking at our next one, and we can't wait to get going. Okay, well, thanks very much for your time, and best luck for the future. Thanks, thanks very much, Bob. Thank you. So here with the match winner, Pierre Van Hoydan, a goal and assist. How did you feel like the game played? Obviously there was three games in total. Um, no goals in the first few. How were you coasting through the game? No, first of all, it's always nice uh, to be back uh, to be back here in, in Dublin, Ireland. Seeing the lads again. Uh, also some guys from, uh, from Man United uh, that I was playing with. So it's, it's, it's fun. And in the games, you, you do your best. You give your best shot. I think the opponents did really well. They missed, especially in the first part, unbelievable amount of, of clear good chances. So that kept us in the game, and uh, yeah, I think we were very lucky to um, to take the victory. Yeah, um, and obviously coming over with these charity events, I think you were over last year as well. Um, how do you feel like the reception you get from the crowd in Ireland? No, always, always brilliant. I mean, uh, Celtic is so unbelievable, uh, popular uh, over here. Uh, of course, you got fans everywhere, but, but Ireland is a special place. Uh, founders of, of, of the club, so you, you can you can feel that as soon as you uh, touch ground in uh, in Dublin. Well, um, that's it for most anyway, Pierre. Thank you very much for your time and congratulations on the victory pleasure. and your goal. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank nice you, man. So we're here with the gaffer, John Hanson. Three-two victory. Um, how do you feel about it? How'd the game go? I feel good, I've got a 100% record now. One game as a manager, one win. So, uh, no, the game was great. It's all for a wonderful cause and uh, great turnout there from, from the home, from the locals and the home, uh, the home people in Brown Day. And a good turnout as well from some of the legends we've got in there. We've got some tremendous players in there. Uh, so, I'm honoured, it's a real privilege to, to manage the guys today. Yeah, and obviously, um, Blue Bell trying to raise funds obviously helped uh, with the fact that the guys, the calibre that he's brought over, and then obviously yourself. Um, how did you think in terms of uh, welcoming to Dublin? Uh, how did you find it? Well, the welcome was great, but I, I've, I've been coming over to Dublin now for quite a few years, to be honest with you. Uh, working with um, Satanta previously and then Air Sports um, up into a couple of seasons ago. So, Dublin, I always get a great welcome. It's full of Celtic fans and um, you know, the locals again were brilliant today. And it's for a wonderful cause, it's for the Blue Bell Academy, it's the future. 
it's the next generation and hopefully uh, with, the, with the function coming up tonight as well um, they can raise quite a bit of money and, uh, and put all that towards the academy that, that's the ultimate goal today absolutely well John thank you very much for your time and thank enjoy you. the rest of the time in Dublin alright okay. pleasure enjoy it